Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on using a progress bar control on a user form in Excel VBA. I have here a blank worksheet in Excel, and you can see I have a blue rectangle on this worksheet. And if I right click here, go down to assign macro, you can see this is assigned to a subroutine named open form. So if I move over to the Visual Basic Editor, Alt F11, you can see here under Sheet 1, we have this subroutine open form, and it just has this one line of code, main.show. Main is the name of a user form I have here. So on this user form main, I have just the progress bar, control, and a command button. And in order to get to this point, I needed to put this progress bar as an additional control on the toolbox. So go up to Tools, Additional Controls, and from this dialog, select the Microsoft Progress Bar Control. And it'll appear on this toolbox. And it's at the end in this case. And what I did was just dragged it onto the user form and resized it. The same thing with the command button, except that's on the toolbox already. You just drag it on and resize it. And in the case of the command button, I also changed the color of the font and the background color. So after deleting that, I have just this progress bar control and this one command button. So I'm going to refer to this module named M1. It is a subroutine that is called in the main subroutine that I'll be building. And it's a formatting subroutine. So I'm going to write code that populates a 10 by 10 area on the worksheet, 10 cells by 10 cells, 10 rows by 10 columns, with random numbers. However, I also want to format the cells that contain those random numbers. So I use the record macro feature and set a cell to bold and put borders all around it. And this is the code that was generated. I put this in a separate module, M1, and named it format cell. So I'll be calling this subroutine from the subroutine that I'm going to write to populate these cells with random numbers. So now moving back to the user form, if I double click on this command button, you see it brings me here to the code for main. And for the command button click, command button one click, I have just this one line, call progress bar. And I have this subroutine below that, progress bar. And I'm going to put code in here that's gonna populate that area, that 10 by 10 area with random numbers, 10 rows and 10 columns, and update a progress bar at the same time. So I'm going to start by declaring a few variables. You see I have here i is integer, row maximum, column maximum, also as integers, r and c for row and column as integers, and percent as single. Moving down, I'm going to configure a few properties of the progress bar. So progress bar 1.min is equal to 0, progress bar 1.max equal to 1, and progress bar.visible equal to true. Next, I'm going to set the values for some of the variables here. I'm going to set i equal to 0, row maximum equal to 10 and column maximum equal to 10. Because what I'm gonna have the code do here is populate a 10 by 10 area. Moving down below this, I'm going to set the value of the progress bar to equal the minimum. So progress bar one dot value equals progress bar one dot minimum, which in this case is zero. Next, I'm gonna build a couple of loops and I'm gonna go through this code step by step starts here with 4, r equals 1 to row maximum, 
and then another loop is created here for c equals 1 to column maximum. So for the rows 1 to 10 and for the columns 1 to 10. In this loop, in the for c equals 1 to column maximum, cells are c dot select, so that's going to select the cell corresponding to the value of R and the value of C. And then with the same cell, it's going to set a random number as the value. Then I is going to be equal to I plus 1. And then it's going to call M1.FormatCell as I talked about earlier. So this code will add that random value to the cell and this code this subroutine will format the cell. So again, just taking a quick look at that, the changes the font to bold and adds borders. Moving back to the user form code, then we have next C, so that completes this inside loop. And then now we're back on the outside loop, the R equals one to row maximum, percent, this variable will equal I divided by the row maximum times the column maximum. So, so the first time these loops run, I will be equal to 1, and this will be 1% because row maximum times column maximum will be 100 in this case. Then the progress bar 1.value, the value of the progress bar, will be set to this variable percent, and then we'll close this other loop, the next R. I'm going to move this over so it's aligned with that loop, that 4R equals 1 to row maximum. So then we have just three more lines of code, so I'll put those in. Progress bar dot visible equals false. Progress bar 1 dot value is reset to progress bar 1 dot minimum, so it's reset back to 0 in this case. And then I'm going to unload the user form. For my first demonstration of this code, I'm going to comment off these three lines. I don't want the progress bar to disappear, I don't want the value to be reset to zero, and I don't want the user form to disappear. So I'm just going to use an apostrophe and put it in front of these three lines of code. So now I, when I put that apostrophe in front of the line of code, you can see it turns green, and it's just a comment now. So these three lines are just comments this code will not execute as part of this subroutine. So moving over to the worksheet, I can click on this blue rectangle, open up main form, and when I click enter, you can see as the worksheet populates with the random values, the progress meter moves from no bars visible to all the bars visible. And the subroutine stops, and you can see the bar is still at maximum, it's visible, and the user form is still visible because I commented those lines of code that would have changed those settings. So if I go back to the Visual Basic Editor and I remove the apostrophes and change these comments back to lines of code, and move back to the worksheet, I'm not going to delete these values, I'm just going to overwrite them. So I'll go back, click on the blue rectangle, click enter, and you can see it just overwrites the random values with new random values. And then when the operation is complete, the user form closes. I hope you found this video on using a progress bar control in Excel VBA to be helpful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me. I'll be happy to assist you.